the leading advocate of the campaign to stop privatisation in the NHS. So please welcome Wendy Savage. Thank you very much, Jim. It's good to see so many people here. And when I heard we were going to have a vigil to really hold up candles to the death of the bill of the NHS, I wasn't very pleased with that idea because I thought we should be fighting much more proactively against this government. They have no mandate for this bill. It is not, despite what Lansley says in the Conservative manifesto, it wasn't in the Lib Dems manifesto, and in the coalition agreement, they said no more top-down reorganisations, and PCTs and SHAs will work together to reduce the bureaucracy, etc. So what do they do? They immediately tear that up and come out with this bill, which almost everybody has been against except the private healthcare industry. Now, Lansley does not need this bill to do the things that he's already doing. And as he doesn't need the bill, you have to ask, what is the bill for? And the bill is to set up a system which will allow private companies, including these terrible American companies, to come... Yeah, is that it? You can still hear me. Um, these private American companies who've bled the American health system dry and now they want to come and get into the European health systems and bleed us dry. We've really got to stop this bill. They're voting at the moment and no doubt it will go through. And what will be interesting will be to see how many Lib Dems actually have the courage to vote against it. We know that Andrew George has been very active and has put in a number of amendments, but no one else has put their head above the parapet. And it's a terrible blow to our democracy that we are having to rely upon the House of Lords to put things right that the Commons are allowed to go through. We were told we were going to have a new kind of politics, weren't we, after the expenses scandal. But I don't see any sign of this new type of politics. I don't think most of the MPs in the House have read this bill, and I don't blame them because it's frightfully boring to read and it's 420 pages, and then when it's the amended bill, it's just as large. But when we hear on Newsnight John Pugh saying that Nick Clegg had um, signed off the... Uh, sorry, there's somebody speaking behind me. Um, that he'd signed off the forward to the white paper and then the bill, without reading it, one's heart sinks. If you listen to the debate as I've been listening today, there have been several good interventions, mostly by Labour members, but some by Lib Dems, including Andrew George, and it's very technical, it's very difficult. And what I think we've got to get across to people who don't understand is we don't need this bill to do what Lansley claims he wants to do. And the listening exercise and the pause has not been translated into legal force that will make sure that the NHS is safe. So I'm afraid the battle is going to have to continue as it goes to the Lords. And I know the TUC have come up with an idea of adopting a Lord. I don't know how they're going to... Um, how they're going to take to having people lobbying them but I think we've got to do everything possible and one thing we have to do is to make sure that everybody that you meet knows what's going on because the BBC and ITN 
and not put it across in a way that really makes people understand what the problem is. I brought with me a few of our badges, keep our NHS public badges, which I'm happy to sell, those of you who haven't got them, at 50p a time, and I've got some of our leaflets if you'd like to join us. So, thank you for coming, and I'm sure we'll be told what the vote is, and it'll be interesting to see how many, apart from the Labour MPs who are uh, sworn to vote against it, how many other MPs have voted against it. The other thing, of course, is that we have a large number of the other nations, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, this bill does not apply to them, but they have a vote. Keep our NHS public has written to all of them and said, vote against it because you haven't got it in your countries. And Scotland is doing very well. Let's make sure that we keep the battle up until the bill has completed its passage in the Lords and gets back to the Commons well, hopefully it will be defeated or amended so it's a shadow of its former self. So thank you again. Okay, we've got a couple more speakers. Uh, I just wanted to update people about... Uh, people may have... Sorry. Uh, people, people may have heard of Helios. A private German company that's in discussions to take over 20 hospitals in this country. Many people don't know very much about Helios, but I think if people knew about Helios, health workers and patients would be very, very scared. Helios has become one of the biggest, one of the biggest healthcare providers in Germany by aggressively taking over public services, attacking wages and conditions, cutting standards to the degree that 700 doctors employed by Helios wrote in March to say that Helios puts profits before patients. And as recently as June the 22nd, the Helios headquarters in Berlin was raided by 150 police investigating fraudulent claims for healthcare. Now, our next speaker is Shirley Franklin from the Save Whittington campaign. Yes, I'm talking because... Because we won, we saved our local accident emergency. Uh, department at the Whittington Hospital, and we saved the, the hospital, the and the, uh, uh, the, uh, actually, I believe, our hospital, because we were a coalition. <laughs> we were a coalition of residents, of local political groups, but most importantly, we included, and actually had to push to include, the trade unions, the people that worked in the hospital. And I think this is a model for our future fight. We really need to work together to save our health service. What we managed to also to do was we went out onto the streets, we talked to people, we got 25,000 names locally from Islington and Camden for our petitions. Those weren't online names, they were names of people that we talked to, and we talked to about what was going on. Again, a model that we have to do. And finally, we had a protest that was bigger than today's protest, and that's a terrible, terrible indictment. We had a 5,000 people on a wet, cold day who protested and successfully saved our local hospital. We need to build the ante. We need to stop these private companies making money out of our health needs. We've also, at the same time, Defend Washington Hospital is against all privatisation, against all cuts, so we're also fighting cuts in mental health. Mental health and mainstream health are both people who work there, they're all being downgraded and having to reapply for their jobs. There's a massive job, a massive cuts in mental health beds. There are also cuts that people don't know about in mainstream health. Are you aware? That if you have non-emergency surgery that's required, you will not be able to get that on the NHS. That is what our local chief executive of the Whittington has said, and that is what 
being served by other chief executives. Non-emergency surgeries will have to be paid for under this new regime. We need to fight it and we need to, ce to celebrate the NHS. There's nothing wrong with our NHS except that it's underfunded. That's the problem. We need money into the NHS. We need to keep our NHS. Who's NHS? Our NHS. Who's NHS? We need to build the battle. Hello, uh, Peter Hayne. I see Peter Hayne is here. He's not slipped away, is he? Peter Hayne, Labour MP, who's just voted against the bill. Yeah, he's going to say a few words. Please welcome Peter Hayne, who's voted against the bill. Thanks very much. Every Labour MP, many of my colleagues are joining you here this evening, have all just voted against this bill, but every Tory and every Liberal MP supported it. And we've got to get that message right, right through across the country. And also remind people that we're totally opposed to privatisation of the National Health Service. In Wales, where we have a Labour government, we will not be doing any of this reactionary right-wing nonsense and we keep fighting this government all the way. Thank you very much and good luck.